Food poisoning, I kind of feel like throwing up. So, I'm not sure. Should I call him to work tomorrow or should I ask to work from home? I don't know. If you're capable of working from home, then you should. If you're capable, if, you, if you'll still be able to function, but if it's like zoning you out, then don't do it. That's true. So, maybe I'll call in and ask the boss if I can work from home. I don't know. I guess I'll find out tomorrow. <laughs> Guys, alright. Midori is picking up the food right now, but I'm not gonna lie. I really do not feel good. I really just want to throw up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, this is my sick face. Uh, <laughs> alright. See you guys tomorrow. What is up YouTube? I did not go to work in today due to my food poisoning that I have right now. Um, now I did work from home, technically my house. I didn't work from my actual house because the internet at my house isn't the best. So I went to Starbucks down the street and worked from there. But man, <laughs> I'll tell you this, it's not easy to code with food poisoning. It's, it's hard to focus uh, trying to get projects done because when it comes to coding, you don't just code for like 20 minutes, 30 minutes. But when it comes to programming, you're programming for like at one hour, two, three hours straight sometimes just trying to think of how to solve a problem not technically just typing code for two or three hours but you're just your mind is focused on solving that problem and it's not easy because I'm always you know going to the restroom back and forth back and forth and then I have to take my mind off it that sucked another thing is that my laptop turned off literally like at 4 p.m. today my, my MacBook Pro would not turn on so I was on a conference call with my technical director and the junior developer as well and around 4 p.m. when we we're discussing on how to work on a project my computer literally just shut off it's right here in my backpack. It hasn't turned on at all. And that sucks, man. And I know I usually have a lot of high energy, but my stomach is just pretty bad right now. So, see you guys in a little bit. Thank you. Peace. So I'm here flying my drone right now. Cops didn't say anything, so that's cool. Something's really off with my drone. I'm not sure what it is. It, I was flying about 150 meters up in the sky, and my drone was shaking a lot. The camera messed up again. I don't know what it is, but look. Um, you can see that's not really that I don't know. I don't think you'll be able to tell on the camera, but it's really like, okay, now it's steady. But look at that, it's moving a little bit. Yeah, but usually it's pretty still. I don't know, I'm considering returning this and then I'll buy a new drone, another one, but uh, a little scary. So I'm here at Starbucks. I'm actually working on this splurty app that I'm working with with the fire hose project. I'm gonna start it right now and complete it by end of today. I'm excited to work on that and share with you guys what this online bootcamp can offer you guys and what they've even done for me to learn the amazing language such as Ruby and Ruby on Rails. So let's work on it right now. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna explain this in detail, but I'll let you guys know once it goes it. So let's check it out. It's windy. Ah, I don't have my 
mic so you guys can't really hear me so let me get in my car really quick where it's more quiet and you can hear me more clearly see you guys in a split second all right what's up YouTube so I just left Starbucks and I just did about the intro part to the splurty app that I'm making with the fire hose project they were pretty much teaching me how to use the command line a lot better and it's really cool because I've been trying to learn the command line at work but because I mainly do front-end development I don't really have to work with it at work so they're really teaching me in detail how to use that which is huge which is huge as a programmer if you don't know how to use the command line then to be quite honest you can't be really considered a real programmer and I'm very thankful for this because so right off the bat the difference between the files project the first thing they teach you right away is how to use the command line how to use SSH how to use CDs and etc and how to do all those things and for me that is an A plus and I think it's very beneficial for anyone else that does join this program it is great and so now what I'm gonna work on I'm gonna go ahead and go home because I don't have my mic and then I'm gonna head to the gym and continue learning this and my goal is to finish this by late tonight in the midst of my crazy schedule so I'm gonna get that done it's amazing I'm excited oh Man, you know how it's been like really busy. I have food poisoning right now. I, uh, literally, I'm at Starbucks and I was studying code and literally the entire time I was going to the bathroom, back and forth to the bathroom. I don't really feel too well, but I'm glad that I was able to get this whole day of free time to just study code because it's been so busy with YouTube. Uh, with work and just my life in general, uh, you know, with church and everything, and I honestly haven't had that much time that I wish I could have to study code. And just to be able to study code for three, four, or five hours straight, man, it's a, it's a, it's. I can't compare that feeling really to anything else, you know, really, because just being able to learn a new language, learning Ruby and Ruby on and learning the framework Ruby on Rails. You know, it's it's a very satisfying feeling. Satisfied, I feel satisfied. I feel like I've accomplished something too. And it's great. I just wish I had more time. I seen a developer talking to me a couple weeks ago and he was telling me how, like he said, we know you're really busy with like YouTube and everything too. Um, and they know that that's a priority to me. If possible, then what we can do every other Friday, you can get the entire day off and just code and learn code from home and just study code and use that to keep keeping it up. And to hear that from my senior developer meant the world to me because I love coding, this is my passion. I love the YouTube and everything, but uh, it's been really hard to make that time. And it's not that I don't make time, as you guys know, I get as much sleep as a normal person. So we'll see. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive. I'm gonna head home right now. Let's get some drone shots of my area. I'll see you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna do what I need to do. Peace. So it's pretty much the end of the day. Uh, I did not get to finish making that app. I'm so sorry. So I'm going to post that later this weekend. So keep an eye out for that. That video of the app with the fire hose project will come out by this Sunday. Look forward to that. I'll post everything on that day. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next vlog. Thank you for watching. Love you all. This is Chris Sean. This is Life for Web Developer. And I'm out. Peace. It's it's like no end on the answer. Oh, you're sorry, but you never can tell all the lovers we were diving for today.